Poll shows Americans are in a good economic mood when it comes to shopping. They're ecstatic. In fact, the average American plans to spend more than $900 on gifts this year. That's up from $785 last year. Well, that's good news for retailers. Unless you've got a plan in place, it could wreak havoc with your finances. So let's talk about how to be fiscally responsible with Adam McGowan from Jack's Federal Credit Union. Good to have you here. Thank you for Why is me. consumer confidence so high right now? Why are people so confident? Well, I think if everyone's looking at the signs, you know, the stock market's good, employment's slow. I think people feel pretty good right now. So, you know, and the holiday season always brings out a lot of spending. So I think, think it's going to be a, a good season for spending. Yeah. You know, a lot of people go to the store and uh, they want instant gratification. They say, oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. That's not a good idea. You really do have to establish a, a, a financial game plan, a budget, right. if you will, for the holidays. Yeah, not only the store, you can go online now, too, and almost get instant gratification. So, you know, and that really what, what, what happens is, you know, you can go online and shop, and you're spending pretty quick, so it is smart to make a budget. It's smart to make a budget any time of the year, but during the holiday season, it's a, it's a, it's a really good idea because not only do you have the expenses of the gifts, but if you're going to travel, if you're going to um, have family over, you're going to decorate. Meals. Food. Right. It's, it's a lot of, there's a lot of expenses that add up, and you have your monthly expenses that you still have to pay. Mm -hmm. You've got decorations, you've got charitable contributions and things right. like that, that as well. What's the best place to start? How do you figure out how much you can afford to spend and not go into a hole? Because come March and April when bills come in, right. you get hit with a harsh reality. Well, the best place to start is to, to have the budget. And if you don't have a budget, go ahead and start making a list right now. And you want to write down who you're going to be buying for and then potentially put dollars amounts around who you're buying for just to get an understanding how much money you're actually going to spend and how much money you have. Good to talk to the kids, too. Good to talk to the kids. Actually, that's a really good way to help the kids understand how much things cost. If you make a list for people you have to buy, then the kids will actually be able to help, help you say, oh, I think I can get any aunt, you know, something, and, you know, what's $50? But $50 times five is $250. So it adds up, and then the kids may start understanding, you know what, things are expensive. Maybe they have a different perspective on the gifts they're going to get. And, and people are pulling out plastic left and right, which brings up another reality that we've got to deal with today that wasn't as harsh as it was maybe 10 years ago. Right. You've got to worry about your personal information being stolen. You've got to worry about your financial integrity being compromised. Yes. Well, that's huge right now because we've had some huge breaches, so a lot of information is floating out there. It's really important to check your credit, understand what you have on your credit, and monitor your credit during the season because someone could steal your identity. And then monitor your transactions in your bank account, especially if you're using your debit card. Fraud's at an all-time high right now, so there's a lot of opportunities for people to do, do things to you that would really financially impact you. And there are some vehicles in place where you can create a phantom number so your actual debit or credit card number isn't revealed to the retailer and put on file, right? Well, yes, I mean, I, you know, what I, where I would go with is I would go with if you're using your, 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 you know, your Samsung Pay or the iPay, you know, those are good ways to protect your, pay, protect your information. All right, Adam, some good advice there. Know somebody who might find this interview helpful? Ready to go holiday shopper, shopping and, and blow the bank? Well, tell them to watch this interview. It'll be posted on newsforjacks.com on the Morning Show page long about 10, 30, 11 o'clock this morning.